Mahan, good morning. This morning's tip of the day is actually not so much even a tip, but it's an essential understanding, and it's called plastic. And we know that everything we pretty much touch all day long is plastic. Our children's toys are plastic. Our utensils, a lot of times we eat with are plastic. The cups that we drink out of, okay, are plastic. The bottles that we purchase a year, 90 billion bottles a year, okay. These bottles leach different types of chemicals and plastics under heat and or cold. Okay, we all know that. It's common sense. So, you always want to drink always out of glass, okay? Okay, there's my tea and and my lemon drink there. You can see my tea is in glass with a bisphenol a, a free top or cap. So, as you can see, I'm also protecting my back against the upholstery of the seat. I put a towel down. Okay, there's huge amounts of toxicity, no matter if it's leather or pleather, it doesn't matter. Phthalates, all different types of uh, estrogen mimickers, okay, all different types of things that really disrupt our, our immune systems, disrupt our hormonal systems, disrupt many different sequences because it plugs us up. Okay, so plastic's a huge problem, so what you want to do is try to, you know, negotiate it. Look at all the bags that we use uh, to be able to seal our food, okay? This is a big booby trap, too. Washing the bags out is very important uh, to be able to get the residue out of the bag before you even actually put any food in it. You want to clean the bag out as much as you can with uh, just a drop of soap and a little bit of warm water and wash them out, okay? When you go to the gym, I see people all the time, they're laying up against the gym benches, okay? Not only are they vinyl chloride plastics and all different types of chemicals, okay? Their, their bodies are, are rubbing up against this upholstery and they're getting themselves all different types of skin funguses and different types of things that they just catch from one person to another. I had this before previously. It's called tinea versicolor. And tinea versicolor is is a skin fungus. Some people call it holly rot. Okay? Some people uh, hide their bodies from you know anybody seeing this because it looks like they got white pimples uh, uh, or blemishes over their their skin usually not raised skin but it looks like like there's something wrong with your skin so you know toxicity in your skin is very easily negotiated by doing the skin cleaning protocols okay very important to do that so you know, it's not just, you know, taking a shower every day. It's not. That's not, you know, that's not the reason being why, uh, you know, most people's skin pores are plugged, okay? Is because of the plastics, because of all the chemicals, because of the parasites and different types of just contaminants that clog the pores up, just like putting underarm deodorant on. And if you're using underarm deodorant, it's just because you're still toxic. I haven't used it for 10 years at all. It's taken a long time to, to negotiate plastic, okay? We feed our children, uh, little baby, you know, bottles, heat them up, and you can see the massive problems that, you know, just unconscious movements by putting plastic into your children, and they don't even, they don't even know uh, why they've gained weight or why they have dysfunction in their brain because all these different types of chemicals that leach out into the food especially when the bags are heated especially when the bottles are heated especially when they're frozen and as it goes into the food what do you think happens 
we eat it and it goes into our bodies. We can't break it down and uh, our bodies fight it. It's a sort of an allergic immune response and also a hormone disruptor. I'm not making this up. This has been proven. So, you know, being smart is actually finding, you know, ways to be able to negotiate the world's plastic. There's plastic everywhere, okay? You're not going to get away from it. So, the big picture is try to protect yourself as much as you can from plastic. I try not to uh, have really anything purchased unless it's in a a food grade plastic container and you have to really watch most of the foods even if they're organic or not okay you're buying things from a health food store you'll notice that most of the containers are a number five or a number seven recycled plastics they're very toxic they leach very easily okay babies toys like I said you know you give all these toys to our children and they put them in their mouth and they're chewing on them all the time that's not good we wonder why our children gain weight. We wonder why uh, there's an obesity movement in children right now. And, you know, when we put MSG, natural flavors, sugar, okay, take baths in chlorinated, fluorinated water, give our children a host and myriad of different vaccines full of ab aborted fetuses, and different viruses, okay? It's not the smartest thing in the world, uh, you know, to follow the, follow the herd, as I say. So if you want to follow the herd, there's nothing wrong with it. The problem is that if you do a simple check on the human condition, you can go ahead and see that the human condition is not healthy right now at all. 100 million diabetics in the United States, 100 million obese people. Part of the problem, again, is plastics. Part of the problem is sugar. Part of the problem is taking showers with chlorinated or chloramined water with fluoride and or all the different chemicals in a steam. Okay, The shower is steaming vapor. And as you breathe the vapor, it's just like injecting it into your body. Very assaulting to the nervous system. Very assaulting to your hormonal system. Very assaulting to just your body in general and your mind. So, tip of the day, like I said again, is try to limit your layer of plastic uh, toxicity. Not only in your food, but what you lay up against. And cleaning your skin at least once a week with our alcohol solutions and putting on the coconut, the magnesium, and the silica on your skin daily and cacao butter following the protocols is one of the best ways to be able to, to keep your skin and pores healthy. Again, look at everything that you touch all day and that's why it's really good to wash your hands okay, with non Okay, do not use soaps that have uh, antibacterials in them. Just wash your hands with coconut oil and put a little bit of, uh, it's not coconut oil, but coconut soap. Uh, and then uh, just go ahead and put a little bit of coconut oil with a little magnesium on your hands and voila, they're nice and lubricated and soft again. A lot of times, the reason I say wash your hands several times a day because everybody's touching everything and you're touching your face, your nose, your your doing whatever you're doing to your face all the time, okay, a lot of people, uh, that's why they've got a lot of bad acne and a lot of, you know, different types of skin issues on the face is because of, you know, an assault constantly of just putting on makeups and just a form of contaminants that really, well, you can easily see that if any woman uses makeup for three or four years she didn't even have to start using it but then after three or four years now she needs to use it because now her skin's got a lot of problems to it it's a lot of toxicities and everything else so again learn your your negotiation of plastic and uh, I'm going to work out right now and you can see the bay is beautiful a couple of guys out there paddle boarding
Okay. Aloha, and we'll see you. <laughs>